Good afternoon. Our weather story for the days ahead is going to be very much about the heat. You've no doubt seen in the news where we are headed. Today is likely to be the hottest day of the year so far, 33 degrees somewhere. But Monday and Tuesday put that figure really into the shade because we're going to push up perhaps to levels never seen before in parts of the UK. 41 degrees possibly somewhere across central and eastern England during Monday and Tuesday. The Met Office has issued a red highest level warning for the potential for those levels of heat by day and indeed as they persist overnight to start impacting how we go about our daily lives and our infrastructure. This area shaded red is the area anticipated to be affected by the highest temperatures but in a way we can anticipate effects just about anywhere covered by that amber blanket there behind me. So all but really excluding parts of Northern Ireland and Northern Scotland. The heat has originated across Spain where temperatures got up to 47 degrees in the week just gone and it is now migrating its way northwards. 41 possible somewhere across Eastern England on Tuesday, perhaps a new record for Southern Scotland Tuesday too. Overnight Tuesday into Wednesday, the fronts work their way from west to east across the UK and fresher air does try to come in from the Atlantic. The rain, though, quite short-lived and you can see these are our anticipated totals for that 24-hour period. Some areas getting nothing at all and for the majority of the UK, barely enough rain to wet the ground. A few heavier thundery showers possible for northern England, but the key thing for Wednesday is it will start to feel fresher in all areas, but still some considerable warmth towards the southeast of England. For the remainder of the week. I think though we will continue to see our temperatures sitting much closer to average. Hello there, hope you're all keeping well. So the amber heat warning is now in force and for the early part of next week you can see these areas potentially looking at highs up to around 35 degrees and where we have the red there's still a chance some areas could be looking at highs over 40 degrees in places so over 100 in Fahrenheit. We have never seen temperatures like that here in the UK so do make sure you take extra care. Hello again, hope you're all keeping well. So for some of us, it has been feeling pretty hot out there today. That heat will continue to build as we go through the next couple of days. So the potential for some record breaking heat by day. And we're also expecting some exceptionally warm nights too. And of course Hello there. Very good evening to you. The Met Office have issued a rare weather warning for extreme heat as we go through the coming few days. And for some places in the UK, potentially even across the capital, we could be touching 41 degrees Celsius. As a result, there is a rare red weather warning in force for extreme heat through Monday and Tuesday, which brings the danger to life. That's likely to impact your health and potentially also impact their infrastructure around where you live. TfL, for example, have suggested if you don't need to travel through Monday and Tuesday, then you really should avoid it. Now that will bring some respite through Wednesday, but another hot day to come, but with the cloud comes more moisture and therefore a more humid feeling day on Tuesday. Please avoid the midday sun, respite on Wednesday. Pollen's next. And as for the pollen forecast over the coming few days, pollen levels stay at low because of the exceptionally high temperatures we'd like to see. Please stay out of the midday sun and keep yourself well hydrated. Take care. Well, a national emergency has been declared with this unprecedented heat wave bringing dangerous heat to our shores over the next couple of days. The Met Office have issued a red extreme heat warning. That's the first one that's ever been issued and that's in force for England's largest cities. But aside from the red weather warning, there's a much broader amber warning in force for the next couple of days, covering all of England and Wales and stretching into southern and eastern areas of Scotland. It's for these areas that will be impacts to people's health and infrastructure, and we will smash national records. Wales tomorrow could see 38 degrees. That's going to pulverise the Wales national record. For England, temperatures hit 41 over the next couple of days. That's going to be a new record and a new record for the UK as a whole as well. So this is an unprecedented heat wave. Now, if we look at these extreme heat waves in the past, we'll take a look at what happened last century. And back in 1911, there was an extraordinary heat wave where temperatures set the UK record at 36.7. That mark was only beaten once last century. But if we look at this century, and we're only not even a quarter of the way into this century, that same temperature has been beaten quite a few times, the fifth and sixth time coming up over the next couple of days. Climate scientists have been telling us for years that when heat waves come along, they'll come along more frequently as a result of climate heating, and the temperatures will become more extreme. There's a price to pay. 
when we see these heat waves here in the UK, unfortunately, they kill thousands of people. And this one would be probably no different. Now, Tuesday night and into Wednesday, the heat wave will come to an end. We see these weather fronts pushing eastwards across the UK and ultimately we'll start to get some fresher Atlantic air moving in. So to sum up, we have dangerous heat with us over the next couple of days. You can take some steps to guard against the heat, keep curtains shut, windows and doors shut during the heat of the day, drink plenty of water and a cooling shower can help you cope with that extreme heat.